Before I start this video guys, I want to thank Bernarex Los Gilt for recommending the idea. Catherine, a game about the life of Vincent Brooks, a man caught in a relationship with two women. Catherine with a K, who is a pretty normal woman pressuring Vince with marriage. And Catherine with a C, who is a manipulative psycho girl. Sounds like a bad romance movie, right? Well, it gets weirder. During the night time, Vince starts having nightmares about the two girls, in which he is forced to climb a magical tower whilst avoiding various obstacles, such as spikes, sheep men, gravity, and how could we all forget the huge ass face type thing. It doesn't help that the game is frustrating as all hell, by the way. Safe to say that if you play this game, you may have fun, but you may also be left seeing ass monsters in your dreams too. EnviroBear 2000, a game about magical adventure, a terrible tragedy, glorious redemption, and a bear. The goal of EnviroBear is to prepare for winter by eating plenty of fish and berries. Sounds pretty standard, right? Well, it would be if you didn't spend the whole game driving a car. Why does this bear have a car and can operate it? Who knows? Bible Adventure. As you can tell from the name, this is a game detailing the adventures of the Bible. The game sold extremely poorly and was considered one of the worst games of its time. Playboy The Mansion. It's The Sims with more nudity. And... that's pretty much it. The game features a younger Hugh Hefner and the goal of managing everyone in the mansion, just like in The Sims. This wouldn't be too bad if it weren't for the fact that this game features a lot of nudity, of course being a Playboy game, and that makes you ask, who was this game aimed at? Men who are far too desperate, or women who aspire to work for Playboy? Either way, this is just one of those games that just makes you ask, why not just play The Sims? Michael Jackson Moonwalker if you've already seen the movie, then you pretty much know what this game's all about. If you haven't seen the movie, then allow me to shed some light on the situation. The main objectives of this game are to defeat enemies by either throwing hats at them, or by dancing at them, because Michael Jackson's dance moves are lethal apparently. Save children from closets because that's not messed up in any way. And finally, to transform Michael into what could best be described as Mecha Jackson, with the power to shoot lasers out of his eyes. Ghost of Michael, if you're watching this, your music was great, but you're a weird guy sometimes. Icarus Proud but you know I'm changing that. Icarus Proud Crap and the Curse of the Chocolate Fountain. The glorious adventure of Icarus, our fellow protagonist and problem haver, cursed with endless diarrhea that's so powerful that it can propel him into the sky and even into space. He is tasked with the sole objective of using his crap to get to evil villains and destroy them. I don't know what retarded mind came up with this, but I seriously think they need professional help. Seaman. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Seaman. A game where the goal is to look after your pet fish and allow him to breed and create weird frog children. Sounds weird, right? Well, it would be. But this next image will show you why this game enters the realm of what the hell is wrong with you levels of weird. <coughs> yes, that is a fish with a human face on it, and people had to come back to this game every day, otherwise they would have to start again. Well if you ask me, see a uh, man can get out of my sight now before it gives me nightmares. Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. Similarly to the famously bad Shaq Fu that features Shaquille O'Neal killing enemies with Kung Fu, this game also features that, but weirder. You play as beloved basketball player Michael Jordan, and one day you realise that your entire team has been stolen by some evil villain or something, and you take it upon yourself to go and save them by using your multicolour basketballs to defeat anything that stands in your way. Is this what it's like to be a basketball player? LSD Dream Simulator. Judging from the name, I'm sure you can guess what this wacky adventure entails. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be high on LSD, then if I have to say anything, it's this. Don't. Don't do LSD, don't do drugs, and don't do this game. Who knows, maybe this game was designed to get people afraid of drinking LSD, because if these images aren't enough to fill your dreams with terror, then I don't know what will. Now you might be wondering, why haven't you explained the game? Well, what is there to explain? 
the autistic eye who obviously downed too much LSD and is now so monumentally high that he is walking around in his own dream worlds. In conclusion, don't do drugs or this game. And by the way, all these squares make a circle. Sonic Dreams Collection, the game designed with the sole purpose of ruining your childhood. The game features four glorious sub-games known as Make My Sonic, Eggman Origins, Sonic Movie Maker, and My Roommate Sonic. Apparently these games were found on a Dreamcast to be lost and abandoned, but now they have been recovered for the whole world to see. I totally believe you, Mr. Developer. Now I would go into detail about the horror that this game includes, but that would be a spoiler, so instead, I'm going to put the link to the website in the description so you can download the game for free and try it for yourselves. If you want any tips for the game, then all I recommend is that you look around for secrets, as there are plenty of them, and for the love of god, do not miss out on Eggman Origins, as it is a beautiful experience that everyone will enjoy. That's it for this list guys, if you have any recommendations for a future video, then let me hear them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.